Watch this. People like this are a menace to decent society. Way of sh What's going on y'all and welcome back to the channel. I hope each and every one of you are happy and healthy today. That's the most important thing. Now before we go any further, I want to ask you guys a favor. If you don't mind, go ahead and punch that like button for me and also smash that share button so we can get this channel recognized. And if you're on Instagram, go ahead and give me a follow over there at TV so that we can stay connected. Now with all of that said, let's go ahead and get down to business guys because there's a couple of things that I wanna talk about. Now, the first thing that I wanna talk about is this Megan Thee Stallion situation. So Megan sat down with Gail King and talked about what happened on that unfortunate night when Tory Lanez tried to pick her off and things of that nature. So when you look at social media and all the blogs that reported on this, there are a lot of people in the comments that are being extra negative and they're calling Meg a liar and they don't believe her story. Now, people are also calling Megan out for faking those tears. There was a bunch of voice cracking, a bunch of sniffling, but no tears appeared. And so Megan is just catching it right now on social media. So guys, what I wanna do right here is play you guys a clip of the interview, and then I'll be right back. It was an argument because I was ready to go and everybody else wasn't ready to go. Mm -hmm. But that's like normal friend yes. stuff, like, yeah. We fuss about silly, silly stuff all the time, mm -hmm. but I never put my hands on anybody. I never raised my voice too loud. Like this was one of them times where it was like, it shouldn't have got this crazy. It shouldn't have escalated to right. the way that it did. So I get out the car and it's like, everything happens so fast. Yes. And all I hear is this man screaming is, he said, damn. And he started shooting, and I'm just like, oh my God. Like, he shot a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And I, I so was so scared. So is he in the car shooting from the car, Megan? He is he? standing up over the window okay. shooting. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even want to move. I didn't want to move too quick. Like, because I'm like, oh my God, if I take the wrong step, I don't know if he can shoot something that's like super important. I don't know if he could shoot me and kill me. Like, Were you afraid for your life at that I time? I was really scared because I had never been shot at before. All right, so you guys saw that. And the one question that I have for Meg is, why pretend to cry if the emotion is not there? You know, just save yourself the embarrassment. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, that was an epic fail. Now, this is the thing. A lot of people are saying that she changed her story. So what I want to do is play a portion of the live that Meg did back in 2020 when this incident first went down. And let's see if Meg did, in fact, change her story. All right. Oh, she mad because he's trying to Kylie. No, I wasn't like. You dry shot me like everybody in the car. It's only four in the car. Me, you. My homegirl and your security. Everybody in the car arguing. I'm in the front seat. This in the back seat. I get out the car. I'm done arguing. I don't want to argue no more. I get out. I'm walking away. This from out the back seat of the car starts shooting me. You shot me. All right, so me personally, I think it's a bit of a stretch to say that Meg changed her story. Basically, she said the same thing. She just didn't articulate herself well or say the same exact thing that she said in her live. And I know that a lot of people are ready to do somersaults in the comments and say, hey, well, if she didn't say the same exact thing in her live, then that means that she changed her story. No, not necessarily. This is the thing. She left out a few key details. When Gail King asked her, was Tori trying to pick her off from the car? Meaning, was he inside of the car or outside of the car? Meg said that, you know, he was standing over the window, meaning that Tori Lanes was still in the back seat of the car. He just opened the door, right? Stood up over the window, right? And pointed and tried to pick her off. Allegedly. And so ultimately, I don't believe that Megan was lying in that regard, but I will say this. I do believe that Megan is withholding some information in an effort to not make herself look bad for whatever reason. 
You know what I'm saying? Because she said to Gail King that they got into an argument because she was ready to go and everybody else wasn't. So what prompted the fact that you was ready to make a clean, smooth exit so swiftly, right? It had to be a conversation that was had. It had to be something that led to the fact that you was ready to go. Were you jealous over the fact that Tory Lanez was giving Kali more attention or your friend Kelsey? So it had to be something to lead up to the argument. So I don't believe that she was just ready to go. And then all of this unfolded. I really don't. And it wasn't too long ago where Tory Lanez took to Twitter and he said this. Good blank had me blanking two best friends and I got caught. That's what I apologize for. It's sick how you spun it though. Now that response from Tori was because Meg leaked some text messages that took place between the two of them after the incident occurred. And it said, Meg, I know you're probably never going to talk to me again, but I genuinely want you to know I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart and I was just too drunk. Nonetheless, blank should have never happened, and I can't change what I did. I just feel horrible. Now, Megan did respond, and she said, blanking two best friends, Ninja, you shot me. You know what you're apologizing for. You keep putting a narrative out that me and my friend fell out about you, and that's not true. Why are you skipping over the shooting? Just admit you shot me, because she definitely ain't do it, and I ain't shoot my damn self. Then she says, you think it's okay to shoot me then, harass me online and make it like this was some weird cat fight what the actual blank is wrong with you now the one thing that i did notice during that exchange is the fact that megan didn't discredit anything that tory lane said in regards to him possibly dealing with her and her friend kelsey at the same time and so perhaps you know megan was in love with tory you know and when she found out that tory was dealing with kelsey you know it broke her heart you know a lot of people are not talking about that you know, that could be a possibility. And so it led to a jealous outrage, right? Things went down in the car. Maybe there was some swinging, some tussling and things of that nature. And one thing led to another. Now, there's no justification for Meg allegedly getting shot in the foot by Tori. You know, nothing that Meg did. I don't care what she did in that vehicle or what went down. It doesn't justify anybody getting shot. But I will say that I'm not in the business to say that Meg is lying. I'm not in the business to say that Tori is lying. I'm going to let the courts handle this. But at the end of the day, I do feel that there's a lot of things that they're withholding from the actual truth on both sides. But anyway, guys, let's transition to the next story. And so I want to talk about the baby, right? So over the weekend, there was some footage that came out that showed the baby swinging on Wisdom, who is currently signed to the baby. He's baby's artist. And so a lot of people were just puzzled to see the two of them getting into it. Now, from the looks of things, I question if baby even has hands or not. I don't know if he has hands. Now, I know you guys didn't get to see it full on because I'm trying to respect YouTube guidelines. But if you really go and look at the video on social media, it looks like if the baby didn't have his security there, it would have been a long day for the baby because his artist wisdom was about to put that Bojangles four piece combo on the baby's. And so honestly, I don't know why the baby wanted to swing on his artist. You know, I don't know what type of confrontation that they had prior to that. But at the end of the day, you know, it's just a bad look to see, you know, someone that's supposed to be helping someone get into the game actually do that to his artists in front of millions of people to see right now like i said we don't know the extent of what wisdom could have said or done to get that type of reaction out of the baby i do know that you know about a week ago the baby had to put a plug in somebody for trespassing on his property so you never know maybe you know it's not above the realm of possibility that wisdom tried to set the baby up you know we don't know but you know at the end of the day it's just sad to see now, another interesting revelation that has come out is the fact that back in 2018, you know, the baby plucked somebody off in Walmart. Right. And he claimed self-defense. Now, there's footage of this particular incident that went down that shows otherwise. Right. It shows the baby as the aggressor. Now, as a result of the fight that took place in that Walmart, a guy by the name of Jalen Craig ended up losing his life. He was the friend of the individual that got into it with the baby. And so the story is, is that these two individuals, right, uh, Jalen Craig and his friend, 
you know, they recognized the baby. They recognized him from his music. He was in the game and things of that nature. And they were staring at him and the baby took it the wrong way. And he allegedly asked one of the guys to go outside to throw some hands. And I guess the guy didn't oblige. And basically, you know, the baby, it shows on the footage. I'm not going to play the footage here. I will play it on my Instagram at NCTUB TV. But on the footage, it shows the baby actually being the one that initiated everything. Now, I don't know if they can reopen the case. I don't know the details of the case, so I will have to do my research on it. But at the end of the day, when you look at the footage, right, it doesn't seem that the baby was acting in self-defense. It seems that the baby committed the M word. You know what I'm saying? Just keeping it all the way 100. But, you know, the baby is always into something, right? He's always into something. I don't know what he's trying to prove. You know, I know that he was marketing himself in a big diaper and he did some humiliating things just to get into the game. I don't know if he's trying to prove to everybody that he's a hardcore type of individual. Right. But this is the thing, you know, if he keeps going at the rate that he's going by, you know, testing people, swinging on people, thinking that he can get away with it, he won't be around too much longer but anyway i'm gonna let this go right here other than the fact if tory really shot meg i hope that meg gets justice and also if jalen craig's parents can get that case reopened i hope that their family gets justice but i don't even know why i did this video because guess what i ain't even studying this gone well